Hey guys, it's Anomalous here, bringing you the 14th part of my Crash Bandicoot 2 Cortex Strikes Back walkthrough. In this part, we are going to Ruination, and hopefully in this video, this is my plan, is I'm going to try to not fail once. Oh gosh, Anomalous, that's impossible, you are the worst person ever at this game. I know guys, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm crazy about it, this game, but we can do this. We can do this. I do not remember what kind of special gem is on this level. I think it is a colored gem root. Do not hold me to that. Just like, do not like hold me anything in this game because I barely remember it. That's kind of cool how when the lightning flashes, you can see enemies that you couldn't normally see at a distance. That's kind of, that's kind of cool. And I have a feeling that when I, yep, when I kill that thing, that thing was going to start moving. The lizard man was going to start moving. I think I, I make sure I time this right. And there we go, we got to a checkpoint, so that way if I do fail, even though I'm really planning not to, that's my goal for this this part of the walkthrough, is not to fail a single time. I know it's crazy, it's crazy talking all, but maybe by some miracle it can be done. With the help of Gandhi, and my past self actually being good at this game, unlike my present self, and I'm pretty sure when I hit this, a ton of nitro's gonna spawn. Yep. I knew it. In one of my earlier parts, I thought that was going to happen uh, in Road to Ruin, but then it, I realized it didn't actually... Okay, so yes, this is a color gemmer. But like I was saying, in Road to Ruin, I thought that when I hit the exclamation point box in a part like that, similar to that, I thought that it meant I was going to spawn Nitro like I just did, but that wasn't the case. It only happens in this level. Alright guys, it looks like I did not get through this level without failing. But we will do this. I, I only failed once, so maybe that can be my resolution for this part of the walkthrough, is to only fail one time. Alright, so let's do this thing, shall we? And as you notice there, that was the dumbest little gem route path thing, whatever you want to call it, platform, I've ever seen. It took me two feet just so I could make a little jump, which I probably could have made anyways just by using the glitch jump. But, like I said before, we're going to keep this walk through as cheat free as possible. You're going to do this 100% legit. 100% this game, 100% legit. Because the word legit's never been overused before. And this, if you notice already, this, uh, this uh, little green gem path is pretty, pretty parkour intensive, if you can call it that. Okay, the edges are breaking. Okay, let's get that Aku mask, because I know I'm going to fail up here. Alright, let's do this thing. One, two, rush him, rush him, rush him, rush him! Oh, he threw it over me, that was kind of cool. Alright, so we got the gem. Um, I do not know if there's crates here or not, so... Okay, good, there's a little green gem. Hopefully it takes me back to where I was, and I don't think it does. So... What we are going to do here is we're going to grab the crystal for the lulls, and then we're going to kill ourselves. Because we will get to keep both of these if we kill ourselves, and it'll enable us to get all the crates still. Yes, sir. It will. At least we can 100% this level in a very smooth like fashion, unlike in my last part. Uh, I made that very unsmooth in a sense that I had to almost redo the entire level. But that's alright. It worked out in the end, so. If you don't know what I'm talking about because this is the first part you're watching, well then you, bro, need to go back and watch my videos. That's right, guys. You guessed it. I failed again. Yes, I did. Anomalous failed. That whole little resolution thing that I had going on of me not failing in this level, eh, it didn't work out so well. But that's alright. And what's even weirder is the fact that I'm actually only failing on the parts that are side side parts to the level, you would even call it that. As in, I am failed at the bonus and I failed at the green gem, but that's alright, we won't talk about failing anymore. And as you see, as you just saw, when I belly flop those belly flop crates, you have to make sure that you belly flop the ones that are uh, four stacks high first, because if you end up on the bottom of that, and there's a... Uh, a four crate stack of belly flop boxes, you won't be able to belly flop it because for some reason you can only belly flop stacks that are three crates or less high. So in other words, you can't belly flop something that is that high, which is kind of weird in my opinion. So like right there, you have to make sure you belly flop that on the way down without hitting the TNT or else you just won't be able to get all the crates, which kind of sucks, but 
just the way they made it, so. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I can count now. Man, that's a lot of Wampa Fruit for uh, one bonus and a lot of boxes. 49 boxes. That is one crazy bonus. I do say so myself. I deserved, I deserved the right to fail on that part because that was a very hard bonus in my opinion. Yes, that justifies the situation. Okay, let's see if I can spin that monkey out of there, you crazy boy. Mm. And I have to make sure I time this right. And I do... Did we get a good angle? Oh, that was loose. I got my little Q mask so that way when I fail, like I just did, I can survive. Whoa, do you see that? That is a texture glitch. Those crates out there are floating. They are floating because the land hasn't rendered over there yet. That's right, guys. The anomalous failed again. Yes. Excellent. And why, you ask? Because I hate this part right here. It scares me. I hate being surrounded by TNT and the lizard at the same time. And you would also hate is these little slidey things. Why? Because you slide around a lot, you silly boy or silly girl. No. That's right, guys. And almost found a way to fail again. That's right. Why, you ask? I don't know. I guess he's just... Okay. Okay. That's right, guys. Anomalous just failed again. How, you ask? Well, <laughs> my good sir, I will tell you how. Because Anomalous doesn't like being surrounded by TNT while there's a lizard on his butt at the same time. He also doesn't like these little slidey platforms. Why, you ask? Well, because they're slidey, of course. But that's alright. We will keep on moving forward. You can see this is where the green uh, gem path has uh, ended, so that'd been insanely hard to get all the crates by going backwards. And I, before I fall and fail trying to hit that green exclamation point box, I'm going to go ahead and grab the checkpoint. So that way, if I do fail, which hopefully I won't, but I've been failing an awful lot today, then I can start back right where I was. Alright, look, a free Akuma mask. How kind of that. No! I did not know there's No! How was I supposed to know that? Something tells me I shouldn't be doing this walkthrough on the first time I do the level in, you know, three years. Because I have no idea what's going on. That's alright, though. I mean, by that's alright, I mean that's completely not alright. Oh, gosh. Well, at least we 100% the level and got that one out of the way. I hate those ruin levels. I really do. But that's okay. Before we head on to old engine, I think we should do a cool little dance. And I'm pretty sure there's going to be cutscenes, so I will let you guys check that out. Crash! I have discovered that the opposition is being masterminded by Dr. Nectris Rio, the inventor of the Evolvo Ray. Brio was responsible for our misunderstandings in the past. He forced me to assist him in his plot for world domination, and he's at it again. He will attempt to stand in our way. Be on your guard, Crash. Use the platform to deliver the crystals to Engine. Hmm, that's not suspicious, old Cortex you. Alright guys, you know what? You know what? We are going to fight Engine in this video. Yes, we are. We are going to fight Engine because we deserve to fight Engine because we have 100% of the fourth warp room. So I think it's time to do this thing. And what's better is we're not going to fail. We're not. That's right. Anomalous is going to magically make it through this on his first try. Yes, even though I have no idea what I'm doing. But, you know. Dr. Cortex said, give the 20 crystals you have collected to me. Oh no, it looks like Engine is very upset. Okay. Alright guys, well, after the course of failing twice in a row, I have figured out how to do this entire boss, because I think we both knew that it was going to be impossible for me to do this on my first try the way I've been failing today. So, we're going to do just that. 
you're gonna beat this this time, because I know the entire course of the boss now. That's right, I made it to the very end, and he killed me at the very end. That's alright. We will finish this boss up. We will kill Injin and his monstrous machine, which I despise very much so, except it's kind of cool how you can shoot Wampa Fruit. That is kind of cool. It's a cool little, cool little boss idea. Mix it up a little bit. Now, really, realistically, this boss really isn't that hard. I just had no idea what I was doing. So, honestly, if you're playing this boss again, you should be fine after watching this. Because you'll know exactly what to do. Especially since these rockets follow a center pattern, you just gotta watch out for their shadows to in it'll indicate where the rockets are coming in at. This part's awfully annoying though, because hitting his, hitting his uh, shoulder plates can be very annoying. Because he keeps moving so much. But at the beginning part, while he still has two uh, shoulder rocket things uh, remaining, uh, Basically, you just have to you have to alternate sides. Like last time, I had to stay on that side. On this time, I have to stay on this side. And just keeps alternating. And now that he has one left, the the game mechanics change. If you'd even call it game mechanics. Now he's gonna shoot a single rocket, and I'm gonna have to make sure that I jump over it like that, like so. There we go. And for some annoying reason, when he's when it finally the last one blows up, shoots another rocket at me. Now, do not stand in the middle of this part. Just saying. That's what happened to me last time. Unless you want to get a few hits in real quick. You gotta be really careful with this part. Yeah. He's literally disintegrating these platforms. As you can see. But you, have to, you do have to get a couple hits in before you move. So you gotta make sure you do that. Okay, he's restarting. Okay, I do not know which one he's going to come at. Hopefully he comes at this one so I can get some hits in. Like that. Okay, and guys, we got him. Engine is gone. He is history. Uh-oh. We're going to suffer the wrath of Cortex. <laughs> yeah. Alright, guys. Well, we beat Engine. We 100%ed the... F we have... Oh, I'm going to let you watch this cutscene real quick before I end the video. Uh, what is your problem, Bandicoot? I will not ask you again to bring me the crystals! Obtain the remaining five crystals, Crash, and bring them to me. Someone's a little grumpy. Anyways, well guys, I think that is a good way to end this part of the walkthrough. We have now 100% completed the first four warp rooms and the secret warp room. So all we have left now is to go and finish off this fifth warp room, beat old Cortex, and we will be on our way. And I'm probably making you dizzy by running around in circles. But before I end the video, I'm going to go ahead and give you a little percentage check. We are now 79% done with the game, 88 lives, 20 crystals, and 34 gems. That leaves us with five more crystals and eight more gems. We have all the color gems in the game, so all we have left is regular gems. And hopefully, this is the plan. Don't hold me to do this. We need 11 more lives, so that way we end the game with 99 lives. That would look beautiful for a nice little finish. Alright guys, well thanks for watching. Anomalist out.